everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name's Amy and this is Dino Budgets over here my husband and I are a single income household working on large savings with a small budget just like our friend Mr. T-Rex tries to live his life with a large head and small arms welcome guys I hope you're having an amazing day welcome back to all my subscribers and if you're new here welcome would you please consider subscribing I would love to have you along for this journey so I can continue making budgeting content for you guys so today we are going to be cash stuffing our February paycheck number two but before we get into it you know what we have to do we have to see what t-rex is trying today so remember, no matter what type of day you're having, at least you're not a T-Rex trying to grab money in the windy booth. <laughs> oh, poor guy just wants to make some extra cash. All right, guys, let's get into it. So today we should be cash stuffing $1,620. I am, I have counted and recounted, and I am just gonna set it up today. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Hopefully your week is starting off well. All right, so let's see what we had left over in our wallet from the previous two weeks. We have a decent amount of change. I am going to throw a quarter back in. That is my Aldi quarter. And if you saw my last cash on stuffing, you will know why this poor wallet looks the way it does. If you missed it, I will link it in the corner up above so you can go see it. But I was able to hold on to that last $5 of gas money. <laughs> so we got one two three four five and some change all of this rollover goes straight into my savings challenge envelope that is where i place all of my money that i'm going to stuff in my savings challenges and so until i get around to that video it accumulates in here but we should have a video coming very soon probably next so stay tuned for that one. I'm super excited about it. So let's go ahead and restuff our wallet. This will be money for the next two weeks for us. And let's go ahead and grab you. So to start off, we're going to stuff our groceries and that is going to be in nine twenties and a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that'll be 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 190. And if you're new to my channel, any of my variable spending that I keep in my wallet, I automatically take 10% off the top and roll it into a savings envelope. And so today with this being 190, I'm just going to round up to 20, set that off to the side, leaving myself $170 in groceries for the next two weeks. Home goods is going to be getting 20 and that will be in a 20, but I'm going to have to make change for that in a little bit in order to take my 10%. Eat out is going to get 15, which will be a 10 and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And that would be $1.50. So I'm actually just going to round up to $2 and set that off to the side, leaving $13 in eat out for the next two weeks. This is mainly just enough for my husband if he chooses to have an eat out one night a week before the next pay period. Gas is going to be 135. That's going to be 250s, a 20, a 10, and a 5. So 51, 20, 35. 
And so instead of $13.50, I'm gonna go ahead and take $15 and round up that 10%. So we have 120 in gas for the next two weeks. Car wash is going to be getting 20, which is gonna be a 10, five, and five ones. So 10, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's go ahead and take two right off the top, leaving 18 for car washes. We've actually been getting some warmer weather, so the snow is finally melting, but I'm sure we have more coming. <laughs> and then coffee and tips for coffee are not going to be getting anything this time around. Um, just because I don't think I'll be needing any and I'm doing a lot of eating at home for the next two weeks. So I'm going to I will make the change for the other envelope and add the two dollars in here later just because I'm not 100% sure which envelope I need to take it from just yet. So we will have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, plus the other two, there'll be $41 going into our 10% envelope. So that one gets its own envelope right here. I just stuff it all in there and then we do a total at the end of the month with my closeout to see how much I saved just by taking 10% off the top of my variable spending. So now my wallet's all good to go for the next two weeks. The next binder will be my bills binder. And we have already paid our bills except for one for the whole month. So the only thing I'm gonna be stuffing in is our subscriptions is gonna get 40. And now it has 20, 40, 60 dollars. Yearly insurance, we're gonna be throwing $135 in here. So we're gonna do one, 20, 30, and five. And now we will have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, 650, 670, 690, 710, 7, 30, 740, 745, 750. So 750, I think I'm gonna get this envelope up to about $900. And then that way when our insurance comes due around May, June for our auto insurance, our umbrella policy, and our plates for our car renewal, all of that will be taken care of out of this envelope. Medical is gonna be getting $190 today. So we have 100, 150, 170, and 190. That'll bring this envelope up to 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 255, 260. Next is the you and me binder, anything and everything related to my husband and I. So hubby is going to be getting $20 into his envelope today, bringing his total to one, 150, 170, 190, 200, 205, 210. And as you will see, compared to my envelope, he is not a big spender. He is more of a saver. So treat yourself is my spending envelope. It's gonna get 20 as well. Um, there also is an additional 50 in here from a giveaway that I won from Jocelyn over at Cash Me in Paradise. Thank you very much. I have it stuffed and I have already purchased some things. So you guys will get to see that soon on what I chose to spend that money on. So in my envelope, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110. Entertainment will be getting 15. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
10 and 15. Now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. Self care is going to be getting a five. And now has 20, 40, 45, and 50. Anniversary will be getting 10. And now has 10, 15, and 20. Our anniversary is in December, so we have plenty of time for this one to add up. Travel, which is our trip to Austin, Texas, is going to be getting a 20. And we are now at 1, 2, 300, 354, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, and 600. Making good progress on that to take our trip in May. And our vacation cabin is going to be getting a 50 and now has 51, 5200. Next, we are going to move on to just our general sinking funds binder. Spending is going to be getting $60, so 20, 40, and 60. Adding that in, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Barney is going to be getting 45 and it'll be in two 20s and a five. So 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Car maintenance is going to be getting $70, so 50 and 70 and now has 100 150 170 190 and 200 lawn care is going to be getting a 20 this is just saving up for some weed treatments in the spring and some bug treatments around the house so we have 100 150 170 190 210 215-220. Blessings and donations is going to be getting a 20 today and now has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. I think that one will be the one I come back and get my change for my wallet from so I'll have to remember that. Next is our long-term savings binder. House repairs is going to be getting a 50 and has 1,000 in the bank and 100, 150, 200 in cash, so $1,200 total. Emergency fund will also be getting 50. And now has 1,000, 2,000 in the bank, and in cash has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, and 400. So 2,400 in our emergency fund. New car will also be getting 50. And now has 100, 150, and 200. Nephews will be getting 10, and they have 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, moving on to my holiday binder. Gifts, which is anything but Christmas gifts, is going to be getting 
45. So 20, 40, 45. There is a five in here, making it 50 total in gifts. Black Friday is going to get a five. It currently has five and now has 10. Any food for holidays also has five, getting another one and it will have 10. And then anything miscellaneous for holidays has a five as well, getting another one and we'll have 10. All right, so if I did my math correctly, hopefully what's remaining here is the amount of money that will be going into our savings challenges this time around. So let's see. We have 100, 150, 200, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 300. So that is also going to go into the savings challenge envelope along with the $5 we had in rollover from our wallet plus the other money we stuffed from our paycheck number one in February and so this is nice and full and ready for the cash stuffing video that will be coming next oh so thick I don't think I can shut it okay <laughs> so if you guys wanted to see how I budgeted that money for this paycheck before actually knowing how much I was going to be getting go ahead and check up the video I will put up in the corner of my budget with me video that was previous to this one and that is it for the stuffing we are all set for the next two weeks our binders are getting full I feel like a cash condensing is coming soon and of course the savings challenges we can't forget those so I hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you next time bye Thank you.